so glad that this didn't work or now I know what I'm truly dealing with, good riddance. This is really a time for you to tie up loose ends and make amends by accepting first and foremost the truth of the energy that you were dealing with and then taking your energy moving forward and investing it in places that are going to work for you. Because this was honestly just somebody came back into your life because they needed you. They needed you. You didn't need them. You didn't need them. What's this message coming? Taurus. This is your week ahead tarot card reading by Born Without Boundaries Tarot, and we start here. This is a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. Sweet results await, and only the busy bee gets the honey, Taurus. So this is a spectacular energy of success, hope, as well as potentially romance. Let's get into it. Taurus, this is a week ahead tarot card reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. It's an energy reading. So you call it into you. I'm here because you needed to hear this message. That's You bought the video to you. So that's how this works. Um, there's a new message every single week. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel and ring that notification bell. Um, so that you know when I upload all your favorite content. Taurus, I do do personal readings as well. So if you have a personal issue that's arisen, then please go sign up for one of my personal readings. You can go sign up on the website, www.bornwithoutboundariestarot.com. Okay, Taurus, we're almost there. I'm going to leave whatever card that comes out. I'm going to leave it. Let's cleanse the energy. Taurus. So there was some some sort of short-sightedness or lack of ability to understand how to move forward or something that really wasn't meant to grow or be part of your future that is showing itself. And then we have be here now. So this isn't in the present moment. So we're being taken back. This is weird how all these cards are coming out all pointed toward the past. So there's something here I feel like that got skipped over Taurus that, that, that I don't know. It, it, it's like it, I don't know if it didn't see the light of day or it didn't like some, I'm not sure yet. Let, let's get deeper into it. Think on your feet. And this is once again, it's like you had to improvise because everything was like short sighted or didn't have much of a future or you were maybe flying by the seat of your pants and taking things one day at a time. Um, something that was kind of like in some ways maybe it just wasn't stable that that's what i'm sure of right now and then we have a rebirth is assured it's in reverse so there's this energy of it's almost like a missed opportunity something that didn't get to awaken or take off something that was maybe shut down or yeah yeah shut down and then we have be here now and be here now is all about being in the present moment but this is in reverse too so it's telling me that this is something that was in the past that did not get to take off. It didn't get to actually see the light of day. And yet we have sweet results await. And so I'm wondering how do those two work together? And then we have transformation is beautiful. Did some situation that honestly went flat and stale is legitimately resurrecting itself. And it could have to do with the fact that it was all about timing. 
sometimes things just it's not right it's it's not it's not the time isn't ripe for it to happen um there is this energy of awakening or you know the butterfly spreading it way it's like it's like it had to go on to another stage there's it's there's just now signs of life that are coming through because this isn't about the present time this is about this is about something that had failed there's a lot of the past going on in this okay let let's go to the six card spread because this is curious energy i'm going to pull resolution cards guys and we're going to pull the resolution cards and see how this issue resolves itself because we're just being pulled back from the past and i don't understand why don't understand why Why aren't you talking? Taurus. 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 This is Taurus energy. So we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is, um, once again, also dealing with the past. It's taking time out because you've been through a lot. There's a lot of injuries here. There's a lot of loose ends that needed to be tied up. Um, making peace with those aspects in your life or your situation that you have a hard time making peace with, a hard, have a hard time settling on. This could also refer back to the Mercury retrograde that we just got finished with. So it could have been something during that time that just kind of like ran, it's something ran flat here. It didn't happen, but that was to give you some space. It's ironic, I know, because Mercury retrograde ends up, um, Mercury retro retrograde ends up uh, frustrating us instead of giving us ease and relax, but that's what we're supposed to do. We're so That's because of the way that we push ourselves day to day in the modern world, but during a retrograde is a time when we're supposed to be reflective on, you know, why this hurt me or why this didn't work out or um, taking care of yourself after experiences that were just difficult. And then we have Knight of Wands. And Knight of Wands is fire energy, so taking action. It's like suddenly the, the light just came back on. It's like suddenly there's like, I don't know, like an eruption of flame or the ability to go after something that had kind of run flatline. Okay. Now the Knight of Wands is, is fleeting energy, but it's great energy to catalyze something. It's energy to bring something back to life and to just push something forward. And then we have Six of Cups. This is also nostalgic energy. This could be a person from your past or something from your home or, yeah, your home life. Um, and then we have the Nine of Wands. So the Nine of Wands is... Hmm... Yeah, something got blocked. Something was left unfinished. Something was left uncompleted because of defensiveness or because of past hurts or upsets. Um, there's a lot of naivete here as well. Taurus. Taurus. Don't worry, guys. I will get this answer for you.
I think this got blocked because somebody took action, but it wasn't very, it wasn't, it wasn't continu continuous. It was almost like they expected to try something once and for it to take off. And because it didn't, it kind of fell flat and disappointed their expectations. And so somebody just decided to walk away from it. I don't know if this is you or them, but this is the energy of failure to be consistent or failure to stick through the hard times or confront the hard times, you know, because we have these expectations of everything's supposed to be beautiful and everything's supposed to be perfect. And when it isn't, when it doesn't, when it doesn't match our expectations of sort of almost a juvenile way of looking at things, um, it backed down. Somebody backed down and was like, well, I don't care about it then. It's not going to be easy. And if it's not going to be quick and it's not going to stay exciting, then I don't care about it. So it's almost like whoever this is, is it's like they didn't even try. They didn't try. It's like they didn't try because they didn't, they didn't really want to. They've kind of given up. Okay, we have nine of nine of swords. This is, I gotta tell you, you're dealing with a loser here. You really are. There is just this energy of, oh, poor me. Things should have been easier. Things should have been great. Things should have been. And it's like, now I'm all kinds of stressed out. I gave up. It's almost like somebody who wants attention for giving up. Who wants attention for, you know, not trying hard enough or leaving things unsettled or settling for second place. There's just this sense of, but then did you ever really even commit? Did you ever really even like, like want to be here or allow yourself to be part of this moment? This is, let me tell you something. If this, this is a person coming back in your life, you better fucking run. You, you better fucking run. Because this is not the energy of somebody that, it's like the energy of somebody who just expects things to be done for them and to be done easy. And there's just this energy of it's not impressive. Because there's no stick to fortitude, faith, there's none of that stuff. They're just, oh, let me block my, my possibilities because, because of maybe what happened to me in the past or something like that. Uh, listen, let's get, okay, let's get a moon card. Let's get a moon card, Taurus. But let me say this to you. If you trust me at all, if I were looking at this as a person, this is a wishy-washy asshole. And you got to let this motherfucker go. Because he ain't doing, they, they ain't doing nothing for you. I got to tell you, but maybe get in your way. There, this, this mother, this is what I would call, these are the cards that I would pull to represent a speed bump. Like that's what they are. And then we have your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. New moon in Capricorn. Oh. Your work is paying off. And now somebody who really wants to ride the fucking coattails is calling up. Because they need your help. Even though all they did was create stress, anxiety, or disappointment in your life. This is a loser. This is a wishy-washy loser. That you do not want. It's interesting because they're coming back into your life after Mercury Retrograde is over. And you know why? It's because in some ways you need this closure. This is an opportunity for you. This is a reading for you. This is here to help you understand the energies that you're actually dealing with. And then we have bring love into the situation. Nope. It's like all of a sudden, I don't know, things start moving forward for you or getting better for you. It's like, but it, this is the thing. I don't feel like this is love for you. I think it's that somebody wants your love because they know that times are getting better or moving forward with you with you somehow. And so somebody wants you to be giving and kind and maybe even philanthropic to them. But what I would then call on you to say, Taurus, is, well, what the hell have you done for me? Let's get, let's, let's turn over... Hold on. Let's turn over the resolution card really quick. 
This is more fuckboy energy. I gotta tell you, like, I, I don't know if that's what you're dealing with, but this is a person who rushes in before they know. So there is definitely communications that are coming through to you this week, Taurus. And the resolution is that you're going to be able to speak to them and say everything you need to say. And what you should say by the looks of it is that I am so glad you got out of my life. I am so glad that, yeah, I am so glad that this didn't work or now I know what I'm truly dealing with. Good riddance. This is really a time for you to tie up loose ends and make amends by accepting first and foremost the truth of the energy that you were dealing with and then taking your energy moving forward and investing it in places that are going to work for you. Because this was honestly just somebody came back into your life because they needed you. They needed you. You didn't need them. You didn't need them. What's this message coming in? Nine of Swords. Oh, it's a message about the worry. What, what do you mean, Nine of Swords? Somebody's worried or somebody's stressed or somebody needs help. Somebody's sick. Please come help me. Please come save me. The person's supposed to look at it themselves. They're supposed to, they're supposed to own up to this energy themselves. It's like, it's like they want a distraction and they want you to do the hard work and figuring for them. When Nine of Swords is like worry and stress, right? This message that comes in, you're not going to feel happy that it comes in. It's going to stress you out and it's going to stress you out. Why? It's going to stress you out because... It's going to stress you out. Maybe even that somebody is ill or... So, okay. What is Taurus supposed to do? A leg up. Imagine. Somebody wants a leg up. Now, this could also be that there's a message coming in for you that because of somebody else's misfortune, you're going to get an opportunity. If that is the case, my friends, take it. Because you didn't cause the misfortune. You can just, it's almost like you can just, um, you, can, you can fix the situation. But watch out. Because that's the trap. That sense of, well, we need you now, Taurus. We need your help now. And they know you can fix the situation. And you do too. And it looks like a great opportunity. But is it a great opportunity? Because it almost looks like somebody just wants to, uh, is this a good opportunity? It does say leg up, but then it also says imagine. So it's almost like it's just an illusionary leg up. It looks like it's going to be something really great, but it's actually not. And this is the energy that I want you to be very aware of. And I also especially want you to be aware of the fact that you're the one holding the power this week. Somebody needs that shit from you. So be very, very careful with who you give your energy and your power to this week because they could easily advantage themselves, give themselves an advantage by disadvantaging you or riding off of your energy, even though they're not worth it. Let me show you these cards. We have imagine. So it's imaginary. Somebody's reaching for a leg up. This is something that maybe you always dreamed of or you had always dreamed of or you had always wanted. But there's a big red flag on this play and I can't ignore it. And that is somebody knows you've always wanted it. It's bait. Better watch that. This is your energy. Trust me when I say they need you more than you need them. And if you step back and just look objectively at who you're dealing with and forget the emotions that are associated with what or who you thought this was, you're going to see real clearly and real quick, I have just avoided a trap. Um... Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get an, an angel card here. What Taurus? What? Okay. Look at this. Own your divine power. Replace codependent people pleasing. God, God, this could not be a better card. Replace codependent people pleasing with assertiveness and empowerment. Bam. 
They need you. You don't need them. Have the power to show that and wield that this week. I hope that you'll come over with me to the extended. You got a lot more energy and it's right below the link. If you're looking for it, you go to the link. I'll pin it to the top of the comment section. You'll always find it there. It's also in the description box below or just go to Vimeo and click on the most recent Taurus video. I'll see you guys there.